Now, of course, I have nothing against Magmod as a company. I use their products almost every time that I shoot. But what I'm gonna show you guys today is my absolute favorite lighting setup that is also easy on the wallet. So this is what it's made of, the Godox AD200, the Glow Easy Lock Deep Parabolic Softboxes from Adorama, and the Megmod system with color gels. So if you've ever seen our work, you know that we absolutely love using color gels in all our portraiture. And we really love these Megmod color gels because they're nice and rigid. The color output is really, really nice on these as well and they're just so easy to use. You can slap them on with magnets and you just get nice color with a really, really quick setup. And they also pair really nicely with the Godox AD200. This is an awesome flash for anyone that needs portable, high power lighting. Um, wedding photographers, on location portrait shooters, event shooters, you know, anyone that needs a lot of output with a very small, package um, should look at this flash it's really really nice as i said the output is really really strong it's also part of a huge ecosystem from godox so the triggers work with a ton of flashes in their entire system and even their speed lights can also trigger these flashes which is great for event work um, as i have these ones mounted off camera and then i'll have my on-camera light and the fact that that can trigger everything <laughs> is really nice so I don't have to stack triggers and flashes and stuff. And the fact that these are only $400 each as well is a major plus in my opinion. Super affordable and worth every penny. And one of the best things also about these Godox AD200s is that you can use this Megmon system on the lights. So even though this Megmon system is made for speed lights, the adapter attaches perfectly fine and you can easily put whatever Magmod accessories you want on the light. This is absolutely fantastic because the one downside to Magmod products is the limited output coming from speed lights. So the fact that I can use this Godox 8200, which has a much higher output, I think it's about twice the power, with these precision accessories from Magmod is pretty freaking sweet if you ask me. But if you want a bigger light source, obviously um, nothing beats having a nice big softbox like these. So that's where this adapter comes in. It's the Godox Type S adapter. You literally just take your Godox 8200 or Speedlight, you pop it in here, clamp it down, and now you have a Bones adapter on the front. Which brings me to my softboxes of choice. These are the Glow Easy Lock softboxes from Adorama in the deep parabolic shape option. I I'm absolutely in love with deep parabolic softboxes because the fall off from these softboxes are to die for. They are so nice, so soft. You basically don't have to worry about the light spill from your softboxes anymore when you're using these because it really does just fall off super smooth and super nicely. But what really got me excited about these softboxes are the prices. So this one, the 20 inch deep parabolic goes for only $70, which is an absolute steal. Whereas this one, the 48 inch, goes for about 120, which is also super cheap. Um, especially deep parabolics, those tend to be pretty pricey. So having a cheap option is really, really nice. And this also comes with all the baffles. There's a metal plate, there's an inner baffle, outer baffle, and a grid. So lots of options. And one really, really nice thing about this softbox is it actually folds up. So this is the collapsed state. Obviously it doesn't fold up quite as small as the soft boxes um, with the rod mechanisms, but the umbrella mechanism inside um, collapses really, really nice. One press of a button and it folds up into this shape. I would take the size trade off basically every time. Um, as a wedding photographer, I just need things to tear down and set up really, really fast. I'm not too worried about the size when it's packed up. And also comes with a nice little bag that you can shove this in. As well as the 48 inch also folds up and also comes with a bag and also comes with all the baffles and grids that I was talking about with this. 
So let's just cut to a quick comparison, comparing these deep parabolic softboxes with some more conventional softboxes. And I'll kind of show you guys why I love the deep parabolics so much. All right, so let's just jump into a comparison here. Here is a sample photo taken with the Adorama Glow Easy Lock Deep Parabolic Softbox, the 20 inch model. And we're lighting up this giraffe here, as you can see, and you can notice the really nice soft fall off um, towards the gray backdrop. It's just a really nice vignette that this softbox creates. It's a lot more focused uh, light output, and it does a really good job highlighting the subject from top to bottom while kind of feathering out nicely towards the edges. If we jump over to the other softbox, this is the Aperture Mini Light Dome. Basically another option, um, similar size softbox with similar light output. However, being a conventional softbox, it has some downsides, especially when you look at the amount of spill that spills out onto the background. So it makes things a little bit harder when you're trying to use a softbox because you have to be worried about how much light spill there is on the background and what it's doing to your, your walls and your the floor and the ceiling and things like that. So I'm finding these deep parabolics to be quite a bit easier to use just because I don't have to worry about that that much. The light from the softboxes look much more natural, which is definitely an advantage when you're using flash. So you can see just how much more bright the side of the wall is here and it's nice and dark with deep parabolic. And if you find yourself needing more power than a single AD200 can provide, that's where this comes in. It's the Godox ADB2 um, adapter. Basically what it does is it has slots for two AD200s on the back and on the front here, if I take the reflector off, it has two of the bulbs um, that also come with the AD200s as well as two LED output lights. And what this effectively gives you is a 400 watt light with a bones mount. And all you have to do is pop the AD200 Fresnel head off like that. Pop it onto the adapter, pop the other one on on the other side and you're good to go. So it's really quick, really convenient and nice to use. Oftentimes I'm out in a wedding and I may need 400 watts, you know, when I'm outside in sunny conditions and I want to use a softbox. And then inside for the reception, I'll take both these off. I'll mount them up on either sides of the room and I'll have them as my off camera lights for the reception. So it's really nice and flexible. You can really quickly change up between combining them for a stronger output and separating them for more light coverage. But the only problem I have with this adapter is that Obviously, you can't use the MagMod accessories anymore, which is kind of a bummer, as I would really like the option to gel easily while using this adapter. But if you are only using one AD200 inside a softbox, um, that is where the magic takes place. All right, so what you do is you take the Fresnel head off the AD200, you slide it right into the Bowens mount adapter, just like so. And the soft boxes have a zipper opening as well. And if you can't see it, all you have to do is undo a little knob here. And you basically just rotate it to the position that you want. That's easiest for you. Open up the zipper access. So you take the Fresnel head that you just took off you put on the MagMod attachment, just like so. And then you just slip it into the side opening here and pop it onto the Godox AD200. But once the head is on, what is really easy is taking any MagMod color gel in the filter holder and just popping it straight onto the light inside the softbox. All right, so this truly is my dream setup for my photography. It's flexible, it's versatile, easy on the wallet. It packs a lot of performance into not a whole lot of cost. Obviously, there are flashes with higher outputs out there. Obviously, there's better softboxes with better quality out there. But I think this is the best 
kind of mixture of performance and cost that I've personally come across. And I think that it would suit, you know, a lot of people in my position as well. Because when you're running around on a wedding day, um, setups like this that are quick and versatile and easy to use are just a lifesaver. So this flash, the Godox 8200, the Meg Mod list of accessories, they have the diffusers, the grids, the snoots, the color gels, they just make it really, really nice and easy on, you know, on your shoot, on location to swap out things, get different looks, get different styles, just to make sure that you can actually produce whatever is going on inside your head. So these Meg Mod accessories are awesome. These soft boxes for being easily collapsible. Um, the output is just outstanding. I love deep parabolic soft boxes and the price really just can't be beat. Um, I don't know how Adorama is doing it, but these soft boxes are on another level for price and versatility. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please check out our channel for more vlogs, behind the scenes, gear reviews, and everything in between. And if you're looking to purchase any of the gear you see here, please check below for my Amazon affiliate links. Every time you use those, it really helps out me and the channel. So please do so. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, what do you think about the setup? What do you think about my gear? Um, do you guys have better setups? Just let me know. And until the next time, I'll see you guys later.